Well, we've been working on the grand art of collaboration and exploring what that means to try to collaborate between professional artists and youth artists um, to create work together. It's constantly justifying what you're doing to people that won't fully understand it until they see the project at a certain stage in development. It's such an, a unique structure for a program. Some of the concepts that we arrived at through our brainstorming, I wouldn't have uh, I don't think I would have chosen certain elements for the space that we created myself, and, and they're elements that I'm pretty excited about. The intensity of everybody living together, of the conversations that we have, the kind of ambition that people have with their projects, I feel like everything has moved up a notch in terms of quality. And before I came, I thought that eight weeks was gonna be a long time, and five hours a day was gonna be like, how was I gonna fill the time? And I quickly discovered that we actually have no time here at all. Like, we're always, every single artist and every single group is always scrambling for more time. Part of it is figuring out like what are the little windows that need to be opened for them so that they can care about what we're all doing and they can understand what we are all doing. I think I'm taking a pivotal step in my work and I, I've talked with you about it. Something I wanted to do for about a year now and I didn't think it was going to happen here. I thought it was going to happen in the next residency I'm going to. Mm. But it's happening here. At least my group, their That's true. idea of art yep. was so limited. To them, art was music videos, people in fashion magazines. That's art to them, you know. And, and so it's a lot of just painting, kind of drawing, showing there's other possibilities of expressing art than what they're exposed to. They took to it pretty pretty quickly and came up with some very interesting footage in a short amount of time. The demands on the young people are very high. It's always hard to tell like right now what the uh -huh. impact is going to be in the future, but I think that anytime you have five, six, eight kids, eight people uh -huh. experimenting with the same materials that you use uh -huh. all the time and that maybe you have these kind of tried and true ways that you use them, you can kind of develop habits and then the minute you see how you know, six, seven, eight people use them differently, then it's like, oh, right, it sparks new ideas. Well, how is this different from just working by yourself? I'm getting a lot more done. <laughs> <laughs>